Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next I plan to show you that how to install this timing chain in this Toyota VVTi engine. And, and I mean this chain what becomes in here in this way. And that timing chain installation is the most difficult part in this this uh, Toyota VVTi engine's assembly. And that's I I saw this this timing chain assembly and set up really carefully because there is many things what to do. Okay, and this first thing is that we need to check up I set up by the way this timing chain in in these bolts that it is really is that it is not yet in this this sprocket teeth teeth in there. And first step we have that that we need to check now that that is this number one piston. This number one piston is easy to always remember that when this uh, timing chain and timing belt area is like number zero and this first piston is always one and then two, three, four, five, six and, and goes in that way. And, and, and first step is to measure that there is this, this timing this piston in just now in up position. There is a couple of possibilities. First is that we look in that hole in there. And next we will do that. And there is this hole. And then when we look in there inside, we could maybe see in there inside. I, I take my light. Okay, now I have the light. And then we can see in there there is piston in this this holes this that hole and there is in end area there is piston in there okay this is quite good way to analyze that this piston is quite quite up and then when we look this this next piston in here there we can see that that now this piston is much deeper and and in that way we can we can think now that that this this piston is in in that hole that it is in up it's 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 really important to 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 know that that this piston is in this time chain set up it is in this up position in here number 1 and then there is other ways to check this more sophisticated and better ways than this fluke way is that we use some metrics like I have the special metrics or some stick and then I measure this amount and when I, I check in here now this that bike hits to this piston and it gives amount that there is something like almost 12 centimeters this deep in here to this piston set. And then when I compare this second piston hole, there is so deep this area that, that my measurement is too short. Okay. And then we know that that now this piston is in here up and there is actually really accurate this measurement data and when I can I a little bit adjust that okay, now there is this amount and this amount should be something like 11 11 point 9 11.9 centimeters this amount and then we know that now this piston one is in up location. This is the first check. Check. Good. And then, then the second 
check is that when we have those camshafts in here, we need to check that that are these both this intake and exhaust housed cam shafts, cams that are in here, that are they in up. And this up up means that that this upper part of this like this this heel or this bike that these must be must show in up and if they are showing like in here down then we are in troubles because because they must be in here exhaust in up and then intake up not in like in in here that it is down and here is down because why they can't be in down because because if piston is up and and valves are down then they they hit in that way to this piston's head <laughs> but now they are up and there is small space between like couple of millimeters space between valves and piston head in here okay and this this is this is important check that that this cam shaft cam, cams they are not pressing these pistons pedals and covers and and if if there is situation that that in in some cars these cams are in now in down then we need to insert in here one socket I saw and we need to we need to rotate there is this there is this 14 14 millimeter socket what fits in these parts and then these parts in here we can rotate in clockwise and it, it means that in this direction that in that way and here okay and then if we need to set up this camshaft we insert that that uh, 14 millimeter socket in here and then we can then we can move that camshaft in this way and in here and then we only rotate these camshafts so that those cams points to up like in here okay this this was the second this check okay and then when we have check these and then these pistons we go to check next check and, and I take different view okay and then next check we have that we need to check that that are, are these these camshafts, these uh, marking points in, in in right position, and when we look this little bit closer, in that area there are small points one, two, three in here. We need to lo look that point where is text X. AX, AX, X in here, and then we that was in X house camshaft, and then we look this intake camshaft, and there is only one hole, and these holes must be in same level, and now it seems that that this is little bit little bit down, and I need to. Move, move that little bit up, and I take my tool, the socket, and then I little bit, little bit move that carefully in that they are in here. And normally, these camshafts there is only one rotation; it is clockwise in this way, not in that turn. That I that I little bit I adjust this. This is the maximum. That very small amount, but big big distances always in clockwise. Okay, now those points are there in same same level here, and there is this comment ex, and and then there is also one comment in here, where is in in here, but this is different. Okay, so and now we are checking those. Okay, and this is good. 
then then we need to go in here this down area and there we have this crankshaft crankshaft bolt or actually this crankshaft end and there is also important thing what we need to next check this is like four check and and there is in here is small small hole in here in that hole and there is this this uh, metallic upper part and these parts must be in same level in here as they are together if this is in different location like in here then then those pistons are in wrong way and we need to rotate that crankshaft so that we go to this flywheel area and next I will show that how we can move that. Okay and here we have this flywheel and then we take one socket what what fits in that bolt and then we insert that socket in here and then we only move that you that friends and then this flywheel moves and in the same way this this crankshaft moves and then we check that in that other area in here that that when this point is in the right place and now we have set up this also this crankshaft okay and then we continue okay and now this point is in the right place there is this this small metallic point in here and it must be in same level in here and then then we go to look this upper area and we have these parts these marking points in here okay then and then we can start to install this this timing chain and we continue okay and then this timing chain first step is that there is two directions and that direction there must be those yellow markings they must come in that face and and do and it is not not right to insert that timing chain in this way this is wrong and this must be in right way in here and then there is the first step that these yellow markings must fit in that line in here there is small hole in here and then there is small point in here and that means that in this way now it is in central and also in here that line must be in here and there is first thing what is what makes this time, time chain chain difficult because there is now small compression in this valve springs and we need to take this 14 millimeter 14 millimeter socket what fits in these bolts and we need to little bit move that that camshaft like in so that this yellow yellow fits in that hole in here this hole now now there is difference and I need a little bit move that I, I lift up this chain and then I little bit carefully I move that in in here okay and now when there is this this force would like to move that time chain in that position and if I I need to keep my hand in here or some other system because this time chain automatically it opens in this way when I I take I take my hand out then this time chain moves and please be careful now this is in wrong position it is in here and it should be in here and again I lift that up and a little bit move down and then then this this camshaft moves like in one step and then I need to be my grip in here ok 
Okay. Now, now it's in there, and then this chain goes in. in In, the, in okay that road okay now it's now it's well this is in here and that one in here okay good and then then we need to do next step we go in here down area and all time by the way now I need to keep my hand in here because if I let this hand to go then then this timing chain position moves and I, I need to keep in here this compression okay and then we go to this this uh, crankshaft area there is the space one one sprocket what I need to install in here and it goes so that that not in this way and this is the right way and that that hole goes to this this point and, and now this hole is there and then I only move that carefully and if this don't go in here a little bit oil and then it moves and then I insert that in in that stage, only in that point, I don't press that totally in here because this chain adjusting is very complex. And, and now there is one point in here, this point in here, and this point must fit to this yellow yellow mark. And that's I insert that in here, and this is interesting thing because. Now there is not much space I will show that that in here there is so so small amount that I have sometimes difficulties to insert this sprocket and then this chain in same time in here and that's I need to keep this chain in here and this sprocket and chain and and then only in last last but last, <coughs> last step, I, I hit this <coughs> sprocket in this end position. Okay, and this is the first one. And now, now I need to check that, that this, this, uh, that this my, my marking goes in that in that that point and that means that that when when this is now now quite ticked that I need a little bit move I need a little bit more that my my this my my chain a little bit down and now I think that, that how I can a little bit adjust that maybe I I change this direction and a little bit down maybe this chain can opens okay now I a little bit adjust and then I go right away check this my yellow mark because it it must fit in this point in here there is this point and yellow mark in here and then I, I I go to I lock that tool in here okay now it's locked and then I go in down and I and now I think that now this 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 is in right place and then I show this you I take next picture and in here this yellow match yellow mark must that match with this uh, 
this point in here. Yes, now it goes away, but I take it again and and now now it's match and then I keep my hands in here and this is like first pre thickening. Okay, and now when this part is in here and then this upper is in here, I I need to keep both of those. Then I can hammer this this sprocket a little bit deeper in there. And I will do that next. Okay, now this is in here. Then I take my hammer and I carefully I hammer this sprocket in that hole. Okay, and there was this this metallic hole. And now, now this is. They are fine. And at that point, I need to keep this uh, this chain all the time in my hand. And then I have next troubles. I take that out. Okay, now I need to insert this chain in that position in here because this chain moves in here. And now I I must to take this little bit little bit up in here and to do not take stress because and I have I have to set up this full part again because now the part moves first that point in here and then this one this is in wrong and then by the way now this this is thick then and and now and now we have this standard issue. This 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 sprocket and this chain is now stuck and it's like jammed. I can't take that out because there is this aluminium, this metallic plate. And I need to take this sprocket now out and for that job use if we have some tool for twitch in there and carefully I I bend that and now it opens and then I then this chain is released then I go back in here and I need to set, set, set up this line in this this chain a little bit more now it's in there good. Then this is okay and this is okay. And then we go in this down area and, and also that chain is in there in right position good. Good and then we go again this down. And here I I insert that chain. I need to chain is not not matching in this hole. There is this this hole and this chain don't match now. And I need to then a little bit move that upper that part and in in this direction carefully and I a little bit start to move okay small movement and what happened in here is this okay now it's fine now it's it's in there good and and then I need to now this is loosen and I need to little bit Okay, I need to little bit thicken this whole system because this can't be can't be can't be so loose. And I insert the little bit down. I change this my tool now in here 
and a little bit rotate now this chain in that direction a little bit very carefully okay okay now now it's there now it's a little bit thick thicker okay and then then I then I insert that sprocket in that hole. I am in here just carefully in here in here and then then I use my hand in here and I hammer a little bit that sprocket. Okay now it's quite deep in there and now I think that, that I can I can take this tool away because I am keeping this chain in my hand all time this compression and then I need to start to insert this this timing chain roads and this is those roads but first goes in here and now I have to keep this and this first road goes so that, that, that there is first point and there is second point those, those uh, bolts and in here I carefully insert that in here and then I I need to somehow next to manage this there is this bolt hole and this must fit in that that part in here and now it seems that 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 uh, That I need to first I can insert that first I can insert that down area in here I insert that bolt in here I rotate that in here okay now it's in there this bolt and then then I need to think that how I can how I can insert that, but I think that later, because next I need to insert this second second part in here, and the second part goes in this area and in this way. And, and there is this first bolt goes in here and all time I keep now this this part and there is this kind of special bolt that goes that goes in 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 that hole and I that is this okay now it goes in there okay, good and then I need a little bit there is this 12 millimeter socket for the bits in that bolt and I pick them that bolt Good. Good. And then, then I, I need to. I, I can, I can press this. I can, I can, I can little bit press that part. And now I think that. 
that when when I am I am checking that that I need to insert here one bolt that I need to rotate a little bit that that chain and of course I need to insert that sprocket in this end area. In this this is the spinal position. Okay now it's end. And then I think that, that I a little bit a little a little bit move this chain and I insert my, my tool in here and clockwise and, and yes this was good move because in right away when I move that then this this part moves that now this hole is there ready then I a little bit move that and here we will look now there is this hole coming in there and and I can I have this screw what is that size 10 millimeter and this fits in here and then then I use this 10 millimeter socket what fits in there and in my hand I thicken this part I thicken this so so that now this this system is quite nicely quite nice that in there and then in there and then I believe that that I can release my hand I, I of course first stick then this bolt a little bit more okay and that was right okay and this was this this timing chain installation now now I need to thicken these bolts and that bolt with moment tool but now when we check this final check that are these all parts okay we go through those first that in here this line is okay and second that one is okay and then we look this down area timing chain and it's also in fine okay and also this and, and now I I believe that everything is okay okay and then I need to of course take then these bolts and these bolts dog is 15 newton meters and I set up it in in here newton 15 okay now there is this amount in 15 and this socket size was 10 millimeters in here and I take on these bolts I, I, I check this sound Okay, now it's there, and then this rubber bolt, what is in here, this rubber, okay, it's in there, and then that bolt in here, and there is 20, 20, and socket size is 12, in 12, and here is this, Socket size 12 millimeter and it fits here. And, and then I need to, of course, set up my top reference to 20. Okay, now it's in there 20. 20 is in here. And I, 
I picked in that bulb. Okay, now time is a uh, moment in dog ways right, and then I need to of course release this this dog friends that that this dog friends don't destroy. Okay, and it's now zero dog wood. Okay, and <clears throat> and this was this timing chain installation and final part in this timing chain installation is to install this DVTI sensor plate in that position and then this F symbol in here and it goes there is this hole and this hole goes in that hill in there okay and that's good and then we continue and thank you for watching